You know, there's an interesting, um, I, I don't know if it's a dichotomy, but relationship between fear and faith. And I never really thought about it much before, but as you were talking, is there, is there any connection between those two um, areas with an individual in being an entrepreneur? I mean, do they have to have a master of fear or faith, or maybe the two aren't connected at all? I think that um, you may find in different people, they focus on one or more of those in, in, in a different way than the average person does. It may be that their fear response isn't as sensitive as another person. So, you know, the bear can get a lot closer to them before they, they actually start to get worried and upset about it. Mm. And that kind of gets at stress tolerance. And I think on the faith part, it has to do a lot with how much they believe in themselves, even in the, absen in the absence of data that they're going to succeed, because that's what makes entrepreneurs so special. It's not, it's not written out that they're, gonna, that they're gonna be a success, and they have to do it anyway, and they keep going. I mean, so many times, what they tend to do is, and this may be where fear and faith are connected, uh, some studies indicate that entrepreneurs, after a failure, tend to create a smaller business than the one before. Interesting. So maybe they adjust a little bit. Yeah. You know, the faith isn't as great, but they turn the fear down a little bit so that they don't have that much at risk. Well, and just to follow up to that question, can you, can you teach someone to have, I mean, I presume faith would be better to have than the fear. Of course, the fear is the unknown, and faith is, to, I guess, to believe in something that you haven't seen or feel. Or, but, so can you, can you teach someone to have more of that? Well, maybe it has to do, since everybody has both, um, I mean, everybody worries. For so. Everybody worries. For example, yeah, faith. I, I'd like to have some more faith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just help me out here, Dave. Yeah, um, I'm with you on that, Dave. <laughs> the amount of time that you spend in each day in either of those categories will probably depend on how sort of psychologically healthy you are yeah. in running your business, yeah. because. If there's no fear there at all, you may not do wise things with the business or with investing in, in people or things. Um, and I believe that the amount of time, it's literally that, it's, it's how many hours a day does this person spend in the world of faith versus the world of fear. Um, too much of it can actually start to transmit itself to customers who get a sense that maybe he's not as confident as he was, mm -hmm. to the staff, to vendors and things like that. So. I think it has to do with the, also the ability of your emotions to help you regulate your intellect and the other way around. Get too emotional about it, you're not making good decisions. Get too logical about it, and you're not really taking risks. Yeah. So there's a balance there. And I think each person finds the state that they're comfortable with, the balance of fear and faith that, that works for them. Now, now